Twins' Randy Johnson. With the full count, the pitch is low, so Bonds walks. No controversy there. Just wait. Top of the second, no score. Reggie Sanders, no. It's Johnson's 3,500th career K. And the ball boy is well aware of this fact and saved the ball. Good job out of you. Top of the fourth, Johnson facing Bonds again. Contact. But how far? Not far enough for a home run, and Luis Gonzalez makes sure it's not any kind of hit whatsoever. Bonds left hanging. Bottom of the fifth now, 3 2 Giants. Leon Hernandez in the mound, on the mound, pitching to Rubio Durazo. Durazo takes it to right. I mean, that's called a home run to tie the game at three, but wait a minute. Hernandez says it's a foul ball. It's obvious it was about, you know, a football field wide. Dusty Baker had to argue, as you can see. That would be a strike. That's a, that's a strike. Yeah. I, a I mean, yeah. Larry Young doesn't change his call. Uh, Levon Hernandez still cannot believe this thing was called a home run to tie the game. Even DeRozzo hesitated on the way to first. He thought it was foul because guess what? It was. It was. <laughs> By about this much. The Giants bullpen can't believe the call. Hernandez still talking about how bad that call was. Yeah, we got you. We understand. But the call remained the same. Still tied bases loaded for Shinjo. Not a chance against Randy Johnson. Two out. Next batter, pinch hitter Pedro Feliz looking at it. Johnson out of that jam. Still tied. Bottom of the sixth, Luis Gonzalez. Gonzalez looking for space. Finds it. Craig Council would score. From second base, he's speedy. Arizona would be up 4-3 to three in this game. Oh, top of the seventh. Real drama coming up. Stay tuned. Ramon Martinez at the plate. Pop and foul. Junior Spivey. Following this thing. Doesn't take his eye off it. Over the rail. Makes the catch. Nice work by Junior. We call him Spivey, man. We can. Next batter, Barry Bonds with a man on first. Johnson strikes out Bonds. <laughs> strikes him out. And then Miller throws out David Bell trying to steal. Are you kidding me? This pitch is low and inside. And Bell? Uh, look. He's definitely safe. He's not out. Dusty Baker out to argue again. And obviously, he'll get tossed by Bill Hahn. Next inning, Hahn toss and catch a Benito Santiago. And Santiago wants to get a few words in. And you know the kind of words before he makes his exit. He has to go to timeout. At least. <laughs> Top of the ninth, Mike Myers to Bond. Strike one. Next pitch by Myers. Strike two. Next pitch to Bonds by Myers. Strike three. Must have been that sidearm stuff. A frustrating night for Barry Bonds and the Giants. More frustrated, I think, with the umpire. Rough night for Blue. Yeah. Randy Johnson, seven innings, six hits, allowed three runs. His 175th career 10K game. He ties his buddy and favorite golf partner, Kurt Schilling. Been working out and coming on. Darrell Ward, two on, two out. Top one, Fernando Vina comes up with it. Out in right field over to Albert Pujols. Jason Simon-Taki out of the inning. Craig Biggio, well, normally Jim Edmonds can get it if it's in the yard. He does not get this one. Julio Lugo comes all the way in to score. And Craig Biggio got to have the uniform dirty. And he's out. We're tied at one. Bottom five, two men on. We're still knotted up at ones. Fernando Vina, he's 10 of his last 30. Hot stick. Eli Marrero will come in to score two to one Cardinals. Now, Cardinals on this homestand, they're seven and one, and they've only given up nine runs in those seven wins. Good pitching. Mike Matthews right here, prime example. He gets Darrell Ward swinging. The Cardinals win this one. Top four, Chris Reitzman, a tight spot, a tight spot. But he gets Charles Johnson striking out on the fastball. Sack still jammed for Andy Fox on the changeup, and Rizma escapes without any difficulty. Bottom of the fifth, Reds up 2-1, A.J. Burnett. Can he get out of a bases load of jam? Austin Kearns has a one-word answer. No. That's a grand slam. And the Reds bust this game open. Kearns takes the curtain call, and Jr. showing him some love, and the Reds win it. He gets six runs on six hits. Todd Walker stays hot for the Red Legs. He's 12 of his last 27, picking up the slack for Barry Larkin. Minnesota without Rocker, bottom two, two out, runner on first for Torrey Hunter. Likes that pitch. He'll end up with a double. Jacques Jones would come around to score on that. Hunter two for four, two runs scored. He's hitting a team leading 335, three nothing twins. Top of the third, two out, bags full. Who do you want up with the bags full? A-Rod, of course. Uh, well, maybe not. Jake Canazaro beats Gabe Kapler. A-Rod 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. Maybe not. Bottom eight, one out. Runners on first and second. It's Hunter time. He's been lifting against Todd Van Poppel, a three-run jack. 
The Tory Hunter, five RBIs. Twins win eight to two. So Twins manager Ron Gardenhire about Hunter's performance. He could do a lot of damage. Eric Milton, who gave up 11 runs in his last two starts, struck out a season-high seven in six innings. Offerman, two outs. Danny Wright strikes out Offerman, swinging with the heat. Wright, six and a third, five hits, seven Ks. Top of the fifth, White sucks up three to two, bags full, Maglio Adonis. One of his four hits, this one off the bottom of the wall, Royce Clayton would score on it. We're going to have a play at the plate, so everyone brace yourself for that. Kenny Lofton. And what do you think? He's out. Take another look. Yeah, you're right. That's an easy one. Doug Mirabelli, great block, a home plate. White Sox lead 4-2. Top of the seventh, White Sox lead 5-3. Paul Canerco with two on. Opposite way, Rocket. Lofton would score on that. White Sox win. Darren Oliver loses his second straight decision, but this was his first career start on just three days rest. Ordonez, Canerco, and Frank Thomas were 1 for 20 over the past two games, while on Tuesday... Moose, Toronto has a Wells, and he strikes out. I'm mean, using his fastball up high. Moose looking good on three days rest. Meanwhile, Don Zimmer, he's a Yoda. He's a Jedi. We need to hit home runs. Jason Jambi, he pole axes this one. Is it a homer? Well, if it's foul, it's a strike. It hits the foul pole, so it's a homer. Number 10, and watch the body English. I'm not going to say Carlton Fisk because there's some history between the clubs, and the youngster says, wow, we wow, we wow. Carlos Delgado whiffs. Eric Hinsky on the off speed. Five Ks from Usini. Looked awfully good on the three days rest. Those are mooses. Back to the Zim Master. Must have power. Rondell White delivers. High and deep. And is it out? Yes, it is. Yankees win it 4 to 1. They're leaving the building with regularity. And the youngster again, the Continental. Wowie, wowie, wow. Mike Nusina now 14 and 7 in his career against Toronto. This is his first win of the year at the stadium. Yanks have won 13 of 14. Don't look now, Boston. That's the Yanks in the rear view. No score in the first. Two on for Mike Piazza. Jimmy Rollins fields and turns a double play. Mike hit into uh, two of the Mets, three double plays in this one. A broken bat didn't help. Robbie Alomar, Scott Rowland, great play, but he can't finish it. Only three hits by the Mets in this game. Alomar and Cedeno supplied them. Next batter, Mo Vaughn, Padilla all over that, 4Ks. Next batter, Mike Piazza, who is 0 for 4. Padilla's fans are loving this. Eight shutout innings for Vicente. <laughs> I told you they were loving it. That's true, man. Bottom eight, one up and fills, two on Pat Burrow. Just crushed a 3-2 slider by David Weathers. Burrow's 11th career home run against the Mets, the most against any opponent. Padilla wins his sixth of the season. That's as many victories as the rest of the Philly starters combined. So Larry Boa, this is the best I've seen him pitch. That's a mouthful, considering Padilla was four outs away from a no-hitter against Arizona back on May 10th. Complete chaos north of the border. Braves and Expos tied at three in the ninth. Marcus Giles facing T.J. Tucker, a number. And then Tucker kind of short arms and didn't know who to throw it to. Rafael Fercal is absolutely speeding, doesn't even hesitate. Jose Macias throw hits him in the head, but it's not kickball, so he saved two errors on the play, four on the night. Braves up 4-3, and it's a lock because here comes John Smoltz. 12 for his last 12, and oh, save opportunities. That's Jose Vidro with a chopper. Andy Chavez comes in to score. We're tied at four. We go to extra innings. Top 10, two on for Jesse Garcia and the Braves. Garcia smokes one up the middle, and Vinny Castilla is headed home, but he takes a look, and Andy Chavez did not hesitate. You are out. Great play all the way around. We're still tied at four. Bottom ten. Bases loaded. Brad Wilkerson off Chris Hammond. And it's a cue shot. There was like a little T-ball hit. And what do you know? Hammond threw the first not in time. Lee Stevens comes in to score. And the Expos win a bizarre game. Five to four. Montreal, 15 hits in the game. Five men had two hits or more. Jose Vidro had three. He is sizzling in the midst of a career-high 16-game hitting streak. Dan Reichert on in relief for the Royals in a 1-1 game. Jose Nieves grounds it to third. Joe Randa, whoops, Aaron Randa. Next batter, Adam Kennedy lays down the butt. Juan Brito comes up throwing, and whee! It's into center. Error on Brito. Two on, none out. I'm going to try to remain calm. I'm going to try to remain calm. Oh. It's the monkey! It's the monkey! The rally monkey, Troy Gloss. Oh, Troy Gloss. Oh, boy. The monkey, I'm telling you, the monkey always works. It's 2-1. Next batter, Garrett Anderson. Oh, Lumberjack style, baby. Extra wood. It's up, it's out, it's gone.
three run home run. Five one Angels. And you know the key, don't you? It's the monkey. It's the monkey. Oh man, if that was in the show every night, I'd be a happy guy. Kansas City, they're one and nine their last ten games in Anaheim. The Angels have won seven in a row at home, and they are streaking. Won 20 of 23 overall. Mariners hosting Tampa Bay, no sight of the monkey. Two on, no score. John Flaherty, the blooper off of Jamie Moyer. Mike Cameron, not only is he a streaky hitter, he can play center field. Bottom seven, no score. Carlos Guillen batting against Joe Kennedy. Guillen taking one toward third. Jared Sandberg, bare hands it, gets the out at first. Great play. Bottom eight. Devil Rays up one nothing. Kennedy. His pick off gets away from Steve Cox. The pinch runner, Charles Gibson. We'll head to third. Kennedy's pickoff move worked twice already. So, Kennedy's in big trouble. Dealing to Jeff Cirillo. That's a tapper, and it's not too strong. Gets the out, does Kennedy. Next batter, Dan Wilson. Kennedy. Gets the pop out. First time he ever faced the Mariners in his career, and it was the longest outing of his career. Tying run on third, two out. Ruben Sierra had no shot against Kennedy. They need a monkey. Clearly, the, they need a monkey, the Mariners. Some would say. one nothing is the final. Joe Kennedy scattering four hits for his first career shutout. The Devil Rays snapping a major league record of 194 straight games without a complete game. The can I buy a vowel? O's, A's. Top three, one runner on for Geronimo Heel facing Barry Zito. And Linda, can I get a hand clap? Thank you. Just one hand clap. That's all we want. That's right. Just one. That's Just one hand you. clap. It's a two-run homer. That's, a, that's two hand claps. Well, it's a two-run homer. 4-0 Orioles. Geronimo Heel facing Chad Bradford. Swings for the fences. Hey, that's not nice to laugh. And he falls down. His boys are laughing. They weren't laughing after Jermaine died. Tied it up with a two-run shot in the bottom of the eighth. And then they played lots and lots of extra baseball. Top 14, Chris Singleton got a 10-game hitting streak off Mike Benefro. Mike Bordick comes in to score. The Orioles, when it was all over, win it. They're 4-0 this year in extra inning ball games. Dodgers first to three in Milwaukee, bottom seven, two on. Tyler Houston, Illmatic off of Giovanni Carrera. Houston's third of the year, Brewers within one. Later with a man on. Jeffrey Hammonds gets a lot out of his system. Three for four, he's hitting 311. This one right off of the glove of Brian Jordan. It scores Eric Young. We're tied at five. And then we have two men on, and Jeff Jenkins is at the plate, and Jenkins swinging a six stick of late. Three for three. This is over the wall, a sixth home run of the year. The Brewers would score eight runs in the seventh and hang on to beat the Dodgers eight to six. Jenkins homering for the second straight game. It's a second. Top seven, six nothing Pirates. Game one, two on for Brian Giles. Opposite way. But watch Voice of Saloon diving and crashing into the wall. Chad Hermanson and Jack Wilson would score. Where is everybody? Mark Bell won the shortstop. Is going to have to get this ball. Can someone tell me where Corey Patterson, the center fielder, is? No one knows. The fourth inside the park home run in the majors this year. Giles with his eighth home run of the year. It all counts. Take another look. Face first goes Moises Alou. He's day to day with a bruised shoulder and hip. Pirates won the game 12 to 1. What about game two? Top of the first, two on for Brian Giles facing Juan Cruz. This one goes right past Fred McGriff, who was just watching. Sammy Sosa. Uh oh. He usually gets that. He overruns it. Chad Hermanson, Jack Wilson would score. Giles the third on the error by Sosa. Pirates up 2-0. It was 3-0 in the fourth. Bill Miller off of Josh Fogg's hip. Fogg makes the catch. Great play, Cujo. Bottom six. Fogg facing Sosa with runners at the corners. What a uh -oh. love of elevation. A major league leading 16th home run for Sosa. He's first in 10 games. Cubs win, by the way.